he had taken some good swings, you know, previous at bat hit the double, and even at bat he struck out. He took some pretty good swings, and man, it's nice because you know he's done that so many times, and you know we 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 don't probably live by the the home run a ton, but when he's up, I mean that's why he's here. You know, we certainly try not to. You know, run in the house because we like to get to him and let him take three good swings. When that play happens right there in the ninth, initially, just as you saw, did you think he had a good, a good shot of being overturned? Yeah, I didn't even wait for. I didn't even wait because we didn't have anything to lose. And what I saw on the board looked looked like he was out, um, but I was glad they overturned it because you know, just Kinsler, you know, we're just. Would I feel a lot better about our chances to win if he doesn't get the hit? I'm not that smart, but I know it's harder for them to win that way. What do you think of Salazar? You know, really good stuff. Um, he, you know, he left a change up up for the home run that kind of changed the the game a little bit because you know he had had some traffic, but pitched out of it and then just left one up to. Uh, um, thank you, and just you know, hit it a long way. That kind of changed things, and I thought, I thought he got a little tired, and just because you know he had not that he warmed up, but he had gone out and thrown before. Then we had to sit for a while, so I think it was at 96 or 98, and we just thought that was enough. Manny, Manny did a great job. He came in and got outs, finished the inning. And then went out and had a nice inning. That was really big for us to have a chance to kind of regroup. So, so when Nap hit the home runs, you know, it was meaningful. The, the one inning where Salazar did the, the two hits to start off, and then the, the three strikeouts. To yeah, I mean, he has that gear, that other gear that you can't really teach. That you know, it just, and that's the good thing with Danny is that when he do, when he does create some traffic or allow some traffic. He doesn't start nibbling. He reaches back and lets it go. And he's done that a lot this year. He gets out of his own jams. It's tonight, an example, another example. You know, you always talk about this. You know, look to the next day, play that day's game in the weekend in Toronto, and then you wait around. That was a long time ago. But, I mean, it's just. No, that's what I mean, though. It was you, you move on quickly, mm -hmm. whether you win or lose, or it doesn't really help. Um, you know, I thought this afternoon was, I wasn't looking forward to this afternoon because of the move we had to make. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that kind of weighs on you. But then once you get through it, you can look forward to the game. And like I said, Toronto seems like it was a long time ago. Mm -hmm.